the Enoch deception is very widespread. Anglo Christians have given a one sided viewpoint of the Book of Enoch, the story of Noah and the angels, in hopes of justifying whitewashing all biblical characters. A depiction of angels in white with wings, good, and protectors of humans has greatly shaped the imagination of the masses to believe that goodness comes with those with white skin only. This whitewashing has turned reality upside down and created false biblical concepts for centuries. Many have been led to believe that things such as black skin are a curse, although the Bible implies the total opposite and says such about those with white or pale skin. This Anglo-Christian deception has also changed the perception of reality into a bald-faced lie. Christian theology has shaped the thought processes of the world for centuries as it relates to who is who in the world. It has caused many to go astray from the truth while embracing lies and hypocrisy. Now Christianity is using false theological concepts to further push false beliefs as it relates to the book of Enoch and end time prophecy. When you've had an image of a people painted into your mind for so long and someone tries to bring something different to you, that something different is rejected even if it turns out to be the actual truth. Let's take Santa Claus, for instance. Because he has been portrayed as a jolly white bringer of joy and happiness for so long, seeing a Santa Claus that looks like a black man is an insult to the general public. The same with Black Annie or Black James Bond. Nobody wants to see it because it goes against the white mainstream norm. Now when you take the same pattern of deception and apply it to the Bible, People will literally crucify you for daring to mention the color of the ancient biblical Israelites, Yahushua the Hebrew Messiah, and the Almighty himself. Now the scripture describes Yahshua, the one who the world calls Jesus, as having woolly hair and feet that look like they burn in the furnace. But it doesn't stop there. It even describes our Heavenly Father as having the appearance of a sardine or a jasper stone, which looks like a brownish red dark colored stone. And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight, like unto an emerald. However, the Christian church promotes an image of God that looks more like an oval or a snowflake. It is these kinds of deceptions that have raped the minds of the whole world. The mere mention of them being actually black or dark like Africans stirs up rage in mainstream society. The Anglo-Christian deception is now trying to use the Book of Enoch to usher in other deceptions to get the world to focus on non-issues such as how the earth is shaped. Now whether the earth is flat or round, or somewhere in between, there is not one scripture that proves any of this. But the lie has been sent out like a bullet or arrow hitting many targets. use the book of Enoch to promote this ideology as Satan's biggest deception yet, which is laughable when you consider that the identity of the true biblical Israelites has been stolen, seized, taken over, common and you want to use. So much of future prophecy depends on the true biblical Israelites, yet Christianity has many believing that it does not matter, which is a bold and blatant contradiction to the scriptures. The Bible makes it clear that there is a redemption of the true Israelites and gives specifics on how it will take place and where they would be and what condition they would be in. With the downplaying and outright lies of who the Israelites are and the once hidden truths of Enoch being misdirected into another direction of deception, now the focus of the passage of scripture that talks about the end times being much like the days of Noah are being ignored. Instead of dealing with what happened to the children of fallen angels, Christians are now using the book of Enoch to try and debate the shape of the earth as the important thing to consider in the end times.
parchment of Enoch was removed from the basic Bible and demonized for its content, just in case anyone ran across the text. Now it's being reintroduced to promote other ideologies while ignoring some very deep knowledge regarding the children or offspring of fallen angels. Many in today's world who look like what is described in the book of Enoch as the offspring of fallen angels are responsible for spreading lies about those born with dark skin. It is because of this that many dark indigenous people are bleaching their skin to look more like what is described in the book of Enoch as the offspring of fallen angels having white or pale skin. The Enoch deception has many different aspects of trickery in which the whole world has been deceived.